among the things that the pandemic has exposed in our society is the degree to which disparities in wealth between white, black, and brown communities in the country figure prominently in the overall health and well-being of these respective communities and their relative vulnerabilities to the ravages of COVID-19. And when you compound this recognition with the George Floyd protests, re-energized Black Lives Matter movement, there's at the moment a heightened focus on the role that disparities in access to capital play in creating and then sustaining these disparities in wealth for white, Black, brown communities in the country. You, you've been quite outspoken on these issues. And, and indeed, your office, the Office of the Treasurer of the State of Connecticut, has long been a leader in promoting diversity and inclusion in the investment management industry. I would note for our audience um, that your office pioneered in developing and publishing a set of leading edge diversity principles that were adopted by the State's Investment Advisory Council going back as far as April of 2006. So, do these principles continue in force? Have you been able to leverage your role as treasurer to continue and to augment efforts on this front? Yeah, absolutely. And, and I'm glad you, you note the history of the office because I certainly do feel like I'm stepping into a legacy of commitment to diversity and inclusion within this space. And with respect to the diversity principles, yes, that is still a, a core tenet of our, our policy. In fact, it's embedded within our investment policy statement as reaffirmed as recently as 2019. And so that's still critical. But beyond that, I would say what's really critical is operationalizing, right? So, so principles are the first step um, and, and foundational, but operationalizing those principles into how you interact with the asset management community and how we make decisions in terms of deploying capital. Yeah. And, um, and that's, been, that's been a big focus of, of mine uh, since I've been in office. Uh, we, you know, we still have our uh, diverse brokerage program. In fact, we've enhanced it and expanded uh, the, the types of brokers uh, that it applies to. We, um, we have the Connecticut Horizon Fund program and emerging managers program. We are reviewing that actively as, as we speak. It's been a successful program and when it was launched, you know, certainly cutting edge, um, but I want a new and improved version that's even more robust in terms of how we engage and how we provide access and opportunity to diverse managers. And so, so there, there's a lot that we're doing in this space. And I, I see it on a, on a personal level. And because I've, I've known uh, many former treasurers, I, I feel it's incumbent upon me to build on that, that work that was started, but to bring it to an even higher level and a greater impact and that that's what they would want from me. As you look around the country more generally, and, and thinking in terms of your confers, if you will, those who occupy similar positions, do you, do you think that public pension funds can or should um, play a more robust role in moving our country forward in the areas of diversity and inclusion with respect to investment management? Yes, I, I think we, we absolutely can, right? The, the, I say that unequivocally. Uh, we absolutely should, uh, because we we represent such a large amount of capital um, in in the asset management industry, and you know for public pension funds in particular, the our beneficiaries are very diverse, right? In you know, lots of reasons. Thirdly, uh, which as a fiduciary, perhaps most importantly, is that uh, there is substantial data that supports the notion that diversity enhances value. Um, we, we have done uh, very well, or I should say our diverse managers have done very well by us and my beneficiaries. And so from, from that lens, we should absolutely be leading the charge on making sure uh, diversity and opportunities are expanded 
uh, within our space. Uh, we are well positioned to do so, um, and, and we should.